you understand how meaningful this is to me? Hey, come on, throw it! Throw it! Throw it, bitch ass! <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's no use! <laughs> it's no yeah! fucking use! <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> it's no use! <laughs> You're dead, son! You're my fucking dead, son! I win! My win! Go, please, go, please, dude. Just don't, don't, don't let me go, please. Aaron wins! Dude, Silver please. wins! Sonic wins! Go, please, don't say you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. Yeah, Aaron, please. Please, please. Why aren't you looking at me? <laughs> Why aren't you looking at me? Look at me! Welcome once again to the Brony Show, episode 390. I'm back and I'm feeling much better after a few days of rest and relaxation and then actually having to go and do stuff again. So, but in any case, I'm back. So, we're gonna go ahead and get in with not one but two weeks of Brony content and oh, whoa. Uh, um. Sorry, I, I just read something here that can't be real in any way because that is that that sounds really stupid. I'm uh, let's go ahead and move on. But yes, we're um, we're here to bring you all the silliness of the running community for two weeks. Um, boy, what well, hasn't been a, ran a random bit of two weeks here? Well, I'm not here by myself. No, I am joined by a wonderful little panel of uh, Brony enthusiasts. We have Textalian. 420 and I need weed. We have Toakoi. Now uh, you can play for your wallet or yourself. And Suki of the Otaku Ascended. He is getting food. Right, he is getting food. And we should hopefully be joined by other people here, as today we are going to be jumping into Tabletop Simulator once again. And this time we are playing Send Love. An interesting uh, little card game that you can actually buy digitally from an Etsy store and has also been made available through for free through Tabletop Simulator. And we're going to play the free version so that we can give it a shot. And if you are interested, it will also mean that you can get another b wonderful little brony thing to add to the uh, ra rapidly rising collections that we all have. It's on Tabletop Simulator, right? It is on Tabletop Simulator, yes. All right, and in case uh, be sh if you wanted to join in on us, uh, be sure to check out your tabletop simulators now, especially if you're watching us live. If you're not, uh, just check uh, the tabletop simulator workshop, and it should be in there. Just look for Send Love. But if you're here live with us and you want to join in with us, be sure to check your tabletop simulators. Make sure they're up to date. We do have uh, plenty to talk about before the um, for the actual cards, but we want to make sure you have a chance to get updated. <sighs> Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here, because as I said, there's a lot to talk about. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, warm up our vocal cords first, and we'll do it with a little bit of What's Up Brony. So, what's up, Bronies? Nothing's changed, and the world's still a little bit scared. Back to you. myself an alcoholic to whip. You know, I that, may, that reminds me. I should get myself a little bit of uh, alcohol. You know what? I'm gonna do just well. No, I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna wait for Suki to get back here, and then I'm going to. Uh, vaguely creepy. How do I find the workshop? Well, everybody. Uh, it's on Steam. Well, yeah, but hold on. Let, let me do. Let, uh, community do, hub's where it's located. Toa. Okay, let me take care of this real fast. Jeez. Jeez, kills kills off the entire vibe here, doesn't he? All right. Well, everybody, welcome once again to Circuit Main's Tech Corner. Here you can see the tabletop simulator bo uh, board area showing the tabletop simulator game. As you can see right there, 
Workshop is one of the many of advantages that are available to anybody who is eager to play many different workshop titles. Clicking on it will bring plenty of different games here. Don't be scared now. There will be 10,000 games. Oh my god. I'm scared now. But try not to be scared as <laughs> you see everything from Pokemon trading card to hot swap and probably about 50 different versions of the same uh, black, um, black versus white. No, that is that is not the right term. Ooh, hey, evolution climate. Anyway. Check. But in any case, at the top right there, there is a search window. All we need to do is do a quick search of send love. And you can see send love right there in English and also in Deutsch. Ah, German. And with that, we'd like to thank you all for joining us for another one of Circuit Main gets really angry and then talks about uh, what to do in order to accomplish tech things. We will now return you to our regular scheduled program. What were we talking about? Uh, we were doing shout outs and I basically said nothing's changed and, and you wanted alcohol. All right. I was going to wait for Suki to get back here. Mm -hmm. And Toa, you're officially on the shit list. It only took five minutes. Congratulations. I really uh, don't care. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I understand people were just trying to find it, and I want to make sure it's easy for everybody and everything. Blah. Any case, uh, ah, jeez, yeah. So yeah, things get slowly getting back. To, ah, blah, ah, blah. Let's go ahead and just move on here. So not a lot going on right now, but that's kind of the case with everybody here. A lot of us are kind of stuck at home. Uh, we're either playing games or we're just trying to get through the workday, or a combination of both in some cases. Anyway, so are there only four players in this game. Um, let's see. I think we can have. I don't. I think we can have more than four, but I am not one hundred percent positive. Let's see. Uh, well, they got four short manuals, but I think we can have more. I'll look into it in a moment here. Okay, you know what, right, right now is probably not the best time to look into this because we are in the middle of a show. So, um... Alright then. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, I keep saying that it's not the best time to look into this, and yet I keep looking into this. We'll... 21, I think we'll have enough spots for you. I... I think we can... It doesn't say that there's any player limit that I can tell here. I think worst case, we could probably just double up on the cards and try that out if we need to have more. But I think we I think we can have more than four. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on here. So, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the first thing here. The big, 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 big thing here. Oh, dear world. Um. Okay, so... Well, with a lot of the, um, uh, everybody staying home right now and a lot of conventions getting moved around, it looks like uh, quite a number of bronies have decided to jump in and try to make the most of it, as well as give bronies a place to come together and enjoy the their brony communities, as well as uh, giving, giving themselves something for the weekend. We had a couple of them already with Lunicon and um, base um, Rift Cat and um, Rift Cafe Live, as well as uh, um, let's see, um, online pony was it Pony Fest online or online Pony Fest? I mean, I keep getting those two mixed up. Hmm. Okay. Online Pony Fest. Ponies, uh, no, it's not Ponies Online. It's just Pony Fest. Yeah, it's Pony Pony Fest Online. It's Pony Fest Online. So now with that um, going on, apparently uh, with the success of a few of these conventions, as well as many more wanting to help out both vendors and people that want to give uh, people something to do over the weekend, as well as you know giving more convention. Basically, we're, they're trying to do everything they can to keep the spirits up, help. Uh, uh, community vendors um, 
uh, get money during these trying times because conventions were there are their main target to get money to be able to survive the next year. And as well as, you know, artists trying to um, talk about artistry, uh, content creators, things like that. There's a lot of stuff that unfortunately gets affected when a convention is out of whack. So a lot of online conventions are showing up out of nowhere. Uh, in fact, uh, last we checked, we have six that have been announced over the next couple of months. Okay, what was all that? That, that, ah. that was me opening a bag. Ah, okay. Which which was supposed to be like well away from the microphone. Um yeah, unfortunately you sound like you're right next to the microphone. Well I well I am. Oh okay that, then. That thing is that isn't. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you can hear a bag of chips opening up a mile away. <laughs> Well, that's kind of mm. a good warning signal, then. If someone opens a bag of chips, you know they're either getting chips or, hey, we don't have chips. What? No. <laughs> what? Those oh. aren't chips. Those aren't chips at all. Suki, thank you for indulging the silliness. I don't know no, what that was. A, no, I don't, get, I don't give a shit about you. I was making my own joke. He... Yeah, I don't get what that joke was, man. I, I don't get what that silliness was. I'm not even sure it was silly. It was just confusing and strange. Right, okay, so that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and actually move on to what we were talking about. So, online conventions. Tons of them. Before we do that, hey, Suki, do you have any What's Up Bernie for us before we actually delve into news? I am tired as fuck. Close enough. Let's go ahead and uh, delve into news. So... Six, six different online pony conventions over the next couple of months. So, wow, there's almost one for every single weekend. I'm surprised they haven't collided yet, or maybe they have and I haven't noticed yet. But I, uh, see, see, PonyCon and online uh, ponies online can lie due to time zones. Well, let's go into this one at a time here. So we're gonna go to we're gonna start off with uh, pony. We're gonna start with the most recent one, which is going to be in five days this weekend. With Pony Fest Online, and I'm actually going to their main to try to get to their main site here. So bear with me a quick second. By the way, thank you, Winchester, for the link to the site. So yeah, Pony Fest Online will be this Saturday on the t on the twenty fifth all day convention, which has uh, plenty of different panels, vendors, gamings, guest ponies, etc., so on and so forth. Uh, they don't haven't listed anybody yet, but they are probably st they're, they're still taking applications. A lot of the online conventions usually take uh, applications until the last few days. But along with that, um, they already have their Discord server open from the last time, and it has been a crazy madhouse of a of a Discord server since they did the first one a few weeks ago. So if you jump in now, you can have a lot of fun. But it's definitely worth checking out for the uh, next part, which will be in about five days. So that's the first one. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I think mid -air is next. I'm trying to look over the dates here. I do apologize. I wanted to go through these and get them all listed up properly. Um, but let's see. Ponies Online, C Project, um, Looney. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess. Midair would probably be the next one then. Yep. That's May the 1st, I believe. Yes. So Midair will be the next week afterwards. This is also the one that our friend Cold Dust is going to be touting quite heavily. As you can see from his wonderful little art here. It is awesome, and you should follow him. Uh, the, even though i got to admit, if this is just a little glitch here going on with uh, Twitter, with the uh, image kind of going in and out like that, but it, it actually adds to it so wonderfully. I can't, I don't want to stop it. But yes, uh, they are um, they are accepting applications to today. So if you are interested in running a panel, I would recommend jumping in and doing one right now. You know, don't worry for the show to end. Just do it right now, or else you're going to run out of time here. But Meta Air Pony Fair will be in the next week afterwards. This will also appear to be on t on uh, Twitter. 
Not Twitter, Twitch, twa tweet. It's on the website. It's but, on the website that W Arcade we're using. But they do have a lot of special guests already. Uh, my little ties, Prince, whatever. And no, we'll get into that later, Toa. John Kenza, Feather D, Oof co um, Oofy Colorful, really awesome art. Pony One Kenobi, uh, wow, yeah. Oh my god, they got a lot more than I thought. Hey, Silver Quill. And they met a Joker. Hey, so. Actually, why don't we go ahead and let her hear it from the man himself? Hi, Cole. Well, I, well, I, I don't really have too, too many details to say because, well, I, I'm just vaguely a member of the art team. I, they've used one drawing so far. So, anyways, but one thing I will say is that as far as this convention goes, I just want to clear up, make sure that everyone knows this is something that actually is not just a random, uh, like, off-the-cuff thing. They've actually been working on this for a very long time. <laughs> like, they've been taught, th this has been talked about and it has been in the works for months. Like, they, they, they were, they were, like, making plans going way back. I, I know one of the chairs very well. So, yeah. So, this is, so there's a lot of attention going into this. And also, I've got to be honest, I've seen some sneak peeks of what the vendor hall system is going to look like. And it looks really good. I will say that the people who have been coding the website are doing an amazing job. I highly recommend checking out this convention. Uh, just because personally, seeing all the work that's been involved and how hard everyone is trying to make this a good con and a good experience, I would highly recommend it. So. There we go. That's my two cents. Go, right. go, so check it out May 1st. You going to play cards with us in a bit? I might. I might. All right. Maybe. Well, we'll see. Hopefully we'll see you there. All right. I'll be back. Okay. And uh, while well, he's uh, off and out. Uh, so, yep. Midair Pony Fair. And it has been uh, really in the works. So be, be tuned for excitement. Ponyfest uh, has definitely been in the works quite a bit, too. I'm pretty sure that that wasn't fly-by-night either with everything they had set up the last time they did it. Though that was three weeks ago, so cross fingers on that one a little bit. Speaking of which, we also have BabsCon. BabsCon is doing their own online convention for apologies for having to delay BabsCon until next year. But they do have their own virtual convention. They are accepting panels at this moment. And they are currently set to do a full day and night convention uh, for our Friday. And, well, the evening convention on Friday and day and night all of Saturday. Full weekend. Uh, pretty much a good chunk of the weekend. Not the full weekend, but, you know, you get there. But yeah, this is uh, from a lot of people that this is from people that actually uh, that do run conventions as well. So uh, you know, I'm expecting some really good things out of this as well. This will be the next week afterwards. So so far, we got Pony Fest this weekend, Midair the next, BabsCon the week after that, <laughs> week week after week after week of Pony, and we are not done yet. But we are going to have a week or a week or two of breaks here. And then two come in at once. And this this one's going to be a little bit on the tricky side. So we have Ponies Online. That will be on the 23rd of May, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they, basically, this is a convention that they started up when HaCon decided that it wasn't going to be doing anything this year. So this one has been in the work for a few months now. And you can see their uh, mascots right there. I'm excited for this too. I, I've actually been in their Discord for a while. I wish I could say I've been paying a ton of attention, but I, I honestly haven't. But uh, it looks like they do got a good number of people there. There's a lot of, they got a good online presence. They, they're going to have um, different vendors going on. A lot of exciting things happening. The only problem is at the, around the exact same time, Project C PonyCon is also making an appearance on the 24th of May. Now, Project C PonyCon is very special because this isn't any of the ones you are thinking of. No, this is Quantum C PonyCon. This is one that is going to be based completely within 
Minecraft Java. So, so Quantum Sea PonyCon is going to be in a Minecraft server. They have, they are setting up an entire vendor hall in Minecraft. This is going to be a place you can go in and explore. You can check things out. You can, they're going to have the panels there, the vendor hall there. They're going to. There's going to be a lot of craziness going on. So much that I'm actually thinking about buying a copy of Minecraft just to check it out as well. Plus, I might have to do it uh, early just so I can, one, make sure I have a pony mod on. And two, how, how in the world to work Minecraft to begin. But uh, the also, they have released a video of the server. Okay, let's see. Okay, um, trying to see that that get involved, build the future. Okay, it's the, it's probably on YouTube here. Let me uh, see. Uh, it's, I posted it day before the long post in Conch. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do that. It I'm I <laughs> Quantum Sea Pony Con unfortunately opened up. Uh, yeah. So let's take a quick look here. Okay, so oh yeah, um, you can see right there they got. Um, I feel bad. I oh you don't you you do like I can't, I can't pronounce it, but he's the guy that does all the awesome the pony sims uh, combination animations. He's a really awesome animator, really nice guy too. So you can see right here that the, yeah this is a complete legitimate thing here. We're gonna skip up a, a little bit here. But yeah, they they could have the convention hall right there. There, yeah, this is amazing looking. Mm -hmm. Now I would like to show this whole thing, but this whole thing is two hours long. This is not happening. Yeah, my my only real concern is that since it's on a Minecraft server, you know, people might. I don't. I think they'll have it set so you can't destroy anything. God help us if they don't. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, you can you can easily do that for a server. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just hoping they do do that. That would be really stupid if they didn't. Well, oh. well one of the things mm. is I believe it's a game mode two where it's called adventure mode where you can't break or place things. Oh wow! They even got streaming services and everything that are functional. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. So yeah, they're they're hard at work at this too. This is going to be exciting to check out. This is happening the same time as, uh, well, b basically the same time as Ponies Online. So two different conventions, guys. Two of them at the same time. Granted, I do, uh, let me actually do a little bit of, um, mathing here. Uh, 24th, uh, holding uh, Friday, uh, no, that's, uh, by the way, all of these guys are tweeting one another, so everybody here is eager to work with one another. Don't don't think that anybody is competing. Nobody is competing here. No, we we are doing the friendship thing right. Hey, but, you can go to the same time. Yeah, want to be a part of ours? Sure. Let's have a card with another card. The only problem is it's not really giving us a time here. Okay, so time might be uh, uh, notwithstanding a little bit. We'll, we'll keep an eye out, and uh, when we do get, let's see, yeah, when we do get an actual time, a uh, little bit of a time that we can work with, we'll give a little bit more, um, you know, if it's going to be directly clashing with one another, or if there's a way they can roll from one to the other. But yeah, they do have a Discord, so if you are curious, you can also jump in on that. And uh, some of you might be wondering about the weird little turtle that you keep seeing on all of these that I'm uh, looking through. That is actually the subject of our sixth and final convention that will be held at the end of May. LooneyCon, the sequel, apparently. And and somebody linked me directly to their, their event uh, pa um, panel entry here. Okay. So here we go. So LooneyCon, this was a, a th the funny thing about this convention is this was also another one that had a, a, a one already last month. 
Of course, that one could be considered a bit of a warm-up to this one. I do know the... Uh, I actually know the lead of this, uh, Looney Turtle. He's uh, he's the same uh, Utah resident like I am here. Awesome guy. And, uh, yeah, LooneyCon is uh, set to also do another one at the end of May. So, yeah, there is a... If you want to also sign up for that, they got panels, musicians, volunteers, everything is up and ready for signatures. And that. So, yeah, six different conventions, everybody. Six. If you were worried about never being able to go to a pony convention, you literally have a pick of to, you know, your pick of to choose from. One thing I do want to point out, though, LooneyCon is not just for ponies. It's for all cartoons and animation. So if you're a fan of Looney Tunes, if you're a fan of, um, actually, if I if you're a fan of Peppa Pig, you can go ahead and uh, turn around now, please. Just just walk over that way. SpongeBob, you're fine. We'll, we'll deal with you. Um, Red and Stimpy. Oh, dude, you gotta have a Red and Stimpy guy. That's almost required. But yeah. <coughs> Lots of different conventions going on. Lots of them. So much that we are going to try to make a list of them. And we'll, we'll put it. We'll make. We'll try to get a list set up and put it on the Discord. Uh, but yeah, this is going to it. Yeah, we have them coming in rapid fire starting this week. So be ready because this is going to be insane. Now let's go on to other news. Now, first, uh, a little bit of a... I don't want to call it a fluff piece, but it, kind of a nice thought piece from uh, Forest Rain. It's uh, just a fun little Twitter post about 40 people in the fandom coming together to make a, a red pixelated heart from uh, little signatures. And uh, that, you know, in a t that uh, as a fandom, we should try to come together and try to stand together. It's nice. It is really nice. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to more. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, all I could think of was like, I was going to be like, indeed, says the guy that's currently looking at assets in the new XCOM, which proved they are sexualizing the snake people. <laughs> you can't prove that, and you, there's no way you can prove that. That's a strip club of a snake person. No, um, what? Moving yeah, on. The, in the new XCOM, like, the whole thing was that, like, like apparently this new race is, like, these humanoid, like, snake people, and, uh, and of course, they made them hot. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in but, fairness, uh, in the second version of the reboot, yeah, the snake people were made hot. Yeah. By the way, I love, but I still, I still love, there's an image out there where, where the, where the snake person, where the first female snake person shows up and then it just, and then it just turns into all the soldiers just arguing o over the fact that they that oh of course they have pits what why else why else would they <laughs> it's pretty fun <laughs> yeah it, it, it is apparently according to law they were once the thin men but since they don't have to be hidden no more they are snake people yeah all right, anyway, um, let's go ahead and move on to the news here. Starting off with uh, apparently new pony episodes. Kind of. So, um, new episodes of um, My Little Pony Friendship is Forever. Uh, this one called A Dressing Memories have popped up in Australia. Granted, don't be, don't get too overly excited. These are actually more like clip shows. However, they do have uh, some small. They do have some stuff that is added into it, but it is mostly a clip show. Granted, what else is there? I do not know. I have not been able to find a single clip. Uh, I haven't been able to find any um, snippets of this episode or anything of it. In fact, I, I'm almost. I'd almost wonder if it even existed. The way it just kind of popped up out of nowhere like this. It's, it's like it's like finding Minky Momo on Amazon Prime. Right? 
No, literally, that's it. It's actually really funny. The English dub, the, it's a terrible English dub, by the way, of Mickey Momo from the 80s was apparently uploaded to uh, Amazon Prime, but it's still listed. But if you go search it out, nothing's there. It is literally the white horse of anime right now. Good luck finding it. I would go well, with it, you, can, you, can easily, like you can easily yeah. find Japanese. You can easily find Japanese versions of it. Just the apparently the the original harm the original Harmony Gold uh the, the the Harmony Gold dub of it from back in the day is just is like impossible to locate. That's what I'd want to find though. That is my white horse. That's my white whale. Anyway, uh, but that, that's all another thing there. The, a lot of fun. But let's go ahead and move on to something not so fun and, and, and in fact quite horrible. Prince Whatever has been hacked by you by um, a hacker on YouTube to stream cryptocurrency. Yeah, yeah this sucks. I actually found out about this uh, about an hour or two but after it started, and I oh no, never mind. That's an a actual MLP animation, but. So yeah, this person hacked um, Ethereum News and they started to run a random stream about advertising a um, scam with Ethereum. Which makes it all the more disappointing that I actually bought into Ethereum a few years ago. I sold it when it was at a peak, at a high though, so I did get a little bit of money out of it, but... So yeah, right now, um, Prince, Prince Whatever is currently fighting with YouTube to try to get his account back. Hopefully he does, and hopefully he doesn't lose anything in the process. Worst case, I've already backed up everything that he has ever uploaded. Yay. But no, this really does suck. And it's not the first time I've ever seen a, a content creator that um, it, that is part of the Brony community or works with them uh, get hacked like this so it, it really is it really just sucks that this is becoming so, more and more prevalent by the way everybody this actually happened because he clicked on a link in an email never click on links in emails that is tech security 101 even if it looks 100 percent legitimate do not ever click a link on an email go to the site go to the my site go and check it yeah. yeah my dad knows this because somebody in the school he used to work at, clicked a link in some email, and the entire school network went down. It seriously did. I don't doubt that, but wow. But yeah, that, that it's just something you really got to watch out for. It's going to happen a lot. You know, and the, these hackers do everything they can to make it look official. Because if they don't, you're never going to click it, and they need you to click it. They want you to click it. They must have you click it. So, yeah, that's just kind of a shame here. So, let's go on to something that's cute during a crisis. Fifteen yeah. pony masks have been designed by Tech Cutie. <laughs> I don't know why. This is just kind of like some sort of weird dystopian thing. It's just like, we got these wonderful face masks to protect you from a horrible ravaging disease that's plaguing all of mankind right now. And they're in 15 wonderful designs of ponies. It's like, <laughs> I don't know why. If, it, it feels like what a... No, no, no. Don't remind me of anything. But no, it, what it does remind me of is in the 1980s about those future, about those movies about the future where everything is like dystopian and broken but no, it's not like completely fallout-ish like a double dragon or um uh, not mad max mad Ma not mad max no no that is that is broken dystopian no i'm talking no, like the i'm like a blade runner or uh, bl like blade runner or um um i think it what's the one from arnold schwarzenegger he's basically oh, um uh, the get your ass to mars um not that one but that's a good one too no it was the one where he's running around the maze is that not, it's not a race. No, it's not a racer, is it? it? It's not a racer. Definitely not a racer. No, uh, no, no. It was the game show one. Yeah, he it, it was like a, in a oh, game. Oh, um, oh, damn it! It had Jesse Ventura in it and everything. Um, yeah, yeah. God damn it! Um, or was wait, was that Jesse Ventura? I think it was. I think it was. Um, yeah, it was. Ventura. I think it was him. Yeah. Um, oh, Running Man. Also, Suki, the what, the was it? Man, yes. Yeah, the Running Man. Yeah, the Running Man. Yeah, okay. Running Man would be the maze one. 
Yeah. But yeah, this is kind of hilarious because it kind of almost feels like a mixture of that. Like we're getting this like almost dystopian apocalypse here and we're getting cute face masks. Uh, what? Oh, wow. Is, there is no Celestia. There, there were Mickey Mouse gas masks in World War II. Touche. You know what? Touche. Yeah, I will give you that one. Oh, Demolition way, Man. Uh, so Demolition Man. Yeah. Is it de no, Dem no, Oh, well, yeah. Demolition Man is a different one. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Demolition Man. Anyway, yeah. uh, but anyway, uh, by the way, Circuit, uh, like, it, am I the only one that finds it, finds it, uh, that, that, uh, Rarities is just making you look like, like, yeah, want some? <laughs> I would say so, but it kind of looks like Sunset Shimmer and even, uh, I'm. Um, Sunset Shimmer and Starlight Glimmer are both kind of doing it too. Oh, that's yeah. But yeah. It's like, like some of them are like just kind of odd or okay. But yeah, there's a couple of them like really look like, just really look like they decided to take, just to take it from the basically bed, like the bedroom base. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really good. And I mean, come on. But I know it's more of a cocky smile than anything. And then of course, I mean, I mean, it's, that's Chrysalis. I mean, what, when she does that, what else are you supposed to think she's doing? Yeah. Yeah. But there's also a dip, and we always love the dip. Seriously though, if if you want a Celestia, I'd say hit up Tech the Techie and yeah. see if you can get also, one made. Yeah. Also, fuck you, whoever was trying to contradict me on Jesse Ventura. Yes, he was in that movie. I said nothing. I was not willing to die on that hill. Mm -mm. That's the hill you don't die on. You're willing to die on every other hill in existence but that one. Hey, you gotta have priorities. Moving on. So, China is posting more ponies for quarantine. There's not much to be said, though. It's all in uh, Chinese language, so we can't really see what they're saying. Unless I look through the comments, and we all know that that's a death road. But we get to see po cute ponies wearing face masks, drinking water, eating, apparently riding a watermelon. I never would have imagined Pinkie Pie riding a watermelon. You can hear Honestly, though, a lot of these look almost like they would be temporary tattoos designs. <laughs> oh, hey, actually. Oh, no, okay, never mind. Uh, I thought somebody actually did translate him, but not quite. Okay, so here's the comments that were suggested by a commenter, Fram Winkle, in the comments. Number one. Masks help keep you from spreading disease, but don't save you from stinky farts. Number two, drink plenty of fluids to rehydrate after you cry your tears of boredom. Number three, playing video games while you sit on your rump, eat lots of fresh fruit, or you'll turn into a lump. Number four, maintain social distancing. No shipping allowed while in quarantine. Number five, follow our guidelines or you'll sleep in heaven with the angels. Okay, that's... So, okay, I think he... Yeah, that one's pretty obvious that um, <laughs> the, the general idea is correct. <laughs> yeah. The general, I get the general idea is going with another one joke that apparently Applejack and Rarity are in here. So we're assuming that the Chinese government does not approve of apple bucking horses or fashionistas. Wouldn't be the because first time. Because they're capitalists. Yeah, they're they're capitalist scoundrels, and uh, and obviously uh, give the idea of free thinking. Anyway, we're not again. We're not going to get too much into politics here. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about IDW, who is r currently running a massive My Little Pony comic bundle, with every single issue of the My Little Pony comic from one to eighty three, all in one eighty dollar price. This is a full digital bundle that contains everything. Again, from 1 to 83. So almost everything. Well, everything in the main series. And yes, if you were to actually buy all of these individually, it would be about $150. So $80 is not a bad deal if you haven't had a chance to ever grab any of the Humble Bundles, which uh, I'm not going to lie, were a lot cheaper. But humble bundles are also incre are pretty random at best, and you it may be a while before another one comes out. So if you have a little bit of extra cash and you want to get a bunch of comics, there's an option. But what if you want to get something new and exciting? Well, it looks like you're on your own because I can't find that link. There it is. Uh, 
I found the link. So, in, if you want something new and exciting, IDW has released their WonderCon exclusive comics, which was canceled. So, these comics were going to be sold at WonderCon exclusively, but WonderCon got canceled. That sucks. So, you can instead buy the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic 88 comic, which has um, Fluttershy being held by Bumblebee. And Fluttershy is in a nice little bug outfit. And it's adorable as all hell. And there is also the uh, Transformers one with Megatron and his cohorts all being dressed up as Twilight Sparkle and the other different ponies. I can't say the main six because they actually had DJ Pony in the background there. And Spike. Nobody cares about Spike. I care about Spike. Nobody cares about Spike. Moving on. So yeah, be sure to check it out if you wanted to buy these comics. They are about $10 each. They are con exclusives, so you will never see them again outside of here. And we're going to go ahead and move on here because we're already running way behind on stuff. Andrea Libman has read Pinkie Pie Big Baking Bonanza with the entire Pinkie Pie voice. We were going to check this out. However, it's on Facebook. And again, we are running short on time. So check the show notes if you are curious or interested. Pinkie Pie. Pinkie, as a judge for the best baker's big... But it would be it is kind of fun to see Andrea Lemon reading a book with the Pinkie Pie voice. I mean, how could you go wrong with that? That's oh, cute. Oh, you can't go wrong with Andrea being well awesome. Alright. News. Kutubakia is delaying rarity due to co to COVID nineteen. That is all. Hey. Next. Hulu has all of season nine. Netflix has all of seasons one through eight. Have fun with that. Next. Tara Strong is not going to be voicing Twilight Sparkle in Generation 5. What does that mean exactly? Well, it, pretty much what it says on the paper. Uh, Tara, we don't know if Tara Strong... Well, pff, we know Tara Strong isn't going to be there. That's pretty much obvious. What we don't well, know is... Twilight Sparkle's not going to return either. Well, there's a chance Twilight Sparkle's not going to return. I don't know if it, it's that she isn't... Oh, viewers, that Twilight Sparkle won't be returning for Generation 5. Yeah, okay, that's a fan. There's also, but there is a ch some speculation that Twilight Sparkle might return for Generation 5. I hope it doesn't. I hope it stays this way. Not that it's a not that it's a bad thing. I can understand that sometimes new voice actor, you know, vo new voice actors need to take on familiar roles so that they can, the role can expand. But I also kind of want to have Twilight Sparkle be kept this way for a while longer. Where Twilight Sparkle, you know, is, is Terra Strong. And it would also give new ponies a chance to shine so we don't have the same main six again for Generation 5. Let, let's see a new generation come up. Also, can Sunset VA do a good Terra voice? Um, I, I, I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure. I'm not Sun Sunset's, VA, Sunset's voice actress was the singing voice. So, it's entirely possible, but it also might be that she's not going to be on the project either. I mean, for all we know, they're not going to get any of the uh, voice actors that they had for Generation 4. Because it's uh, Hasbro's doing the animation in-house now. Well, uh, that they, they could still contract with... Um, I, I, want, I keep wanting to say Ocean Studios, because that's essentially who it is, but I think it's a different name. I can't remember who well, the... Well, they can still contract the studios that those voice actors work for. That's what I was saying. I just, I just, didn't, I just didn't know yeah. what the studio was. I mean, it's entirely possible, but we have also seen a lot of voice actors... Um, We've seen um, a Pinkie Pie and Rarity being voiced by different voice actresses all together, too. So it could be that they're just going, giving, getting um, vo different voice actresses warmed up to ponies, and then they're just going to have a different generation. I mean, heck, who knows? Maybe we'll have um, Generation 4 being shipped with Generation 5. It'll be Twilight Sparkle and and um, Snap P Twitter Toes. And that was horrible. I'm going to go ahead and move on now. <laughs> generation 5. Snappy! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right so this one i normally don't like watch mojo but um, we're gonna go we're gonna talk to him uh, talk a little bit about him on this one 
The Last Problem joined 10 different epi 10 different shows in Watch Mojo's top 10 most heartbreaking cartoon series finales. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at him real fast. We're going to keep it muted, though, and... <coughs> oh, if me. Steven talks... Oh, it's a Miss uh, Mojo list? Yeah. Is it a Miss Mojo? I thought it was just... Yeah. Oh, it is a Miss Mojo. Okay, that's fair. Okay, Steven Universe appears to have been one. Uh, Phineas and Ferb? Actually, I didn't think Phineas and Ferb was that big of a tearjerker. <coughs> I, I thought it was a good <coughs> send-off. Hmm. Oh, um, yeah, the... There's, um... I forget their name. I uh, I, I know it's Rick. Looking at regular regular show. Regular show. I, I kept I know it's Rigby and Mordecai, but I couldn't. Let's see. There's Gravity Falls. I really do gotta see that. Bojack Horseman. Nice. Futurama. Oh yeah, Futurama did really have a hell of a tear tear jerk at the end there. Yeah. Uh huh. And also there's um uh, Adventure Time. Did have a good one there. Let's see. Uh, was that Justice League? Yeah, that was Justice League, but which one? Uh, it, actually, I guess it would be mm -hmm. tactically forever, wouldn't it? Or no, unlimited. Oh, it's unlimited. just no, it's unlimited. just the plain Justice League. Star Cross ju in Justice League itself, not uh, af before Unlimited, I think. Huh. Or maybe it was part of Unlimited, but I thought. Wait, I thought because because I think I know what episode they're talking about, and I thought, I oh yeah, they did. Oh, no, no, they did. For some reason, I thought somebody died in that one, but I don't remember. And Avatar The Last Airbender. And oh, Last Problem got number one. We got number one with a bullet. We were the saddest tearjerker of all. Okay, actually, this one, I I think this one, yeah, they gave this one, did they give this one an honorable mention? or No, wait, that was yeah, number... But... No. Oh, but no. Did, wait. Ponies were the honorable mention. Samurai Jack got the. Oh, I am feel so disappointed. Yeah, you know what? No, I got dis. I definitely have to disagree with him on that because the pro well, the main problem is that Samurai Jack, the whole thing that they're basing its sadness on or heartbreaking, it kind it, it you kind of like before it happens, you think about it and you realize that yeah, you know you notice that it's gonna happen. Yeah, it wasn't exactly. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Absolutely, you absolutely see it coming, and honestly, I don't. I, and I mean, yeah, you can still do the obvious and you know get the emotion out of it and everything, but I, I just, I just don't think they pulled it off. Honestly, though, the Phineas and Ferb one though that was not a heartbreaking ending. It was a decent ending, and that was it. Well, I mean, I, yeah, you got to say goodbye to the characters, but it wasn't like they were all crying or being split off or going down separate ways. So like, oh well, the summer's over. I guess we'll have to go back to school now. I mean, there wasn't exactly anything ridiculously heartbreaking about it. They had to go back to school, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> I am a monster. Okay, but I am disappointed, though. I mean, uh, I'm just going to move on. So, interactive video Lost in Our Town has been released. The only problem is that YouTube obviously doesn't make it work too well because you can't see annotation the little clicking annotations anymore. They do have it set over in uh, Billy Billy, which is a the um, Jap uh, Chinese, I think, or Jap yeah Chinese uh, video sharing website. Except I don't know how to set it for the annotations and everything, so I can't even give this a test run to see how it works. So we will talk about this eventually once I figure out how to do it. But uh, for the moment, it exists. So if you really want to work it out yourself, it's in the show notes. Final little bit here. Yeah. And actually, no, this is this is what I'm going to say for the next bit here because it's time for fan submissions and suggestions. I guess while you're pulling that up, sorry, the name of that website, all I can think of is, if anybody's familiar with it, the guy named Brian Zane runs a, wrestle, runs a wrestling YouTube channel, Wrestling with Regret. His Captain Lou Albano character, just because every, every time he shows up, he just goes, Billy, 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 Billy. Listen to me, Billy. We gotta get this done. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I miss Kevin Little Pino. That guy was awesome. But yes, the challenge of the week was sentimental feeling. Or feeling of nostalgia. Things like that. And the big reason I came up with that is because uh, ju just before I issued the challenge, Final Fantasy VII Remake was due to come out, and I also played the demo, which 
kind of it gave me the one the wonderful um childhood feelings of playing the original Final Fantasy VII of old in a Kmart way back when I was a kid and they had the Pepsi thing going on with that. We bought a case of Pepsi and I held onto that box for a few years until it basically fell apart. It held all my instruction manuals. But along with that, we also had the Protest Initiative Challenge. That's right. And what was our Protest Initiative Challenge? That's right. Oh, right. Burying Candles. Moral of the story is I'm bad at Animal Crossing. You know, I wondered why that came up. All right, yeah. so, and uh, this time I was able to get one com an, uh, one of the, the uh, art completed for this. So I admit I took a good portion of the day um, during work to fin to sketch it out. So this is like a three, four hour piece of work. I, I don't know how to feel about that. No, it's not buying candles. Apparently it's burying candles. Yes, so, like, mm -hmm. basically what happened was a uh, creature gave me a, the, the thing, <laughs> the thing, the, the sprout for a bamboo tree, bamboo thing, whatever, bamboo stalk, I don't know what to call it. he gave me the sprout for it, and so I was like, I buried it, I don't know why it didn't work. <laughs> So I dug it up. It turns out I buried a candle that I... <laughs> a candle that I bought because I'm dumb. That, that's actually I, hilarious. I love <laughs> And this is why there's a screenshot going, Cole, what the heck? I am bad at things. All right, so, so I'm, I'm going to explain this right off the bat before the chat room starts to go off with quote-unquote circuit playing with himself. Technically, what yeah. You, why are you playing with yourself? Older self, young self. Okay, the whole idea is the nostalgia trip here. It's the whole. It's when you actually are playing a game for the when when you play a game that you haven't played since your childhood for like a long time and you just get that feeling of childhood again, just like being the kid on the couch enjoying the game. That that or circuit kidnapped a kid and just forcing him to watch him play games. Well, he seems to be happy about it, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> hey, you know, no, the, okay. So here's the thing: you kidnapped him, but you did it. You did it in a way where he doesn't realize what's going on. Yeah. Uh... He doesn't realize that door's locked. <laughs> I, the whole thing was supposed to be like sentimental childhood and things like that. Jeez. And I destroyed it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I kind of figured that somebody was going to do it. I did also uh, include the protest initiative challenge by having the case of destroyed childhood. In the case of something that you um, are excited to try to get recapture a little bit of your childhood comes back and it ends up actually being worse than you ever imagined... So if you want to protect what's left of your childhood, you throw it in there in the case, light the candles on fire, and bury it to die. So what uh, many people did with the new trilogy of Star Wars movie. No, not like that. I'm talking about, like, um... Ooh, what, what would be a good one? Uh, if they can... Thank you, thank you. You got a lot. There's a lot, but that's the problem. I want to make sure I get the exact one. Kind of like, um... Oh, 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 I know. Um, Thundercats Roar. Pretty much you see, you you love the original Thundercats as a kid. You watch Thundercats Roar, and, and then you kind of want to take that and bury it in the box and kind of let it die. I'm still rather myth that they made fun of the, the first reboot. Yeah, that was actually good. Yeah. That was actually good. It was, but what are you going to do? Alright, and here we have... Uh, <laughs> here we have Toa trying his best to destroy our cannon. It's not happening. Uh, so we uh, have... Cannon, I have a fish cannon. So our cannon is that we have the robot that Toa Koi leaves in his house whenever he decides to go flying around as a bat... Of course, um, he, there's just a bunch of pictures there of him flying, and he forgot to turn the robot off. Hmm. Uh, to me, the last one's flight school, and then the sun goes down, and he goes, Oh, I forgot to turn on the light. Okay, so it has a nighttime mode. 
See? Ah, <laughs> ah. Yeah, the comic does he not read was very well. to do something cute and sentimental. No, admittedly, it's cute and sentimental, but at the same time, it also feels like you're just trying really, really hard to destroy this whole your, ca your character as a bat pony controlling a robot thing. Hi, Gamma Gamer! What was the one thing you wanted to say? I'm actually intrigued. And curious. Head cannon accepted. Okay, hooray! <laughs> uh, oh no, that's glass. Yeah, glass spores. Head cannon accepted. All right. While we wait for a gamma gamer to do his one thing here, I'm just taking a look. I don't think we got much in the way of. Uh, let's see. Well, we got one from Deathlight Productions. I believe it may have been somewhat under theme here. This is a uh, night song inner mindscape. It really does bring out a hell of a sentimental feeling in a weird way. Let's see. If I met my teenage self, I wouldn't be able to keep my teenage self from trying to hit on my adult me. You know what? I'm not going to... I, I'm not going to question that because I don't know how to question something like that. I'll take your word for it. Here. Go back and see my younger self. I yell at them. Fuck me! <laughs> Deathlight also posted Unwilling Soldier, which is just his uh, own work uh, he's been working hard on, trying to get better and better at art. It really does show, though. So I did want to give him a shout out there. And uh, I don't, and at the moment, we don't have anybody else that submitted anything yet. Because I do believe that some people are still working on a few things. So. Um, at the moment, uh, I win the ca the Barry and Candle Challenge because I'm the only one that did it. But I'm also not eligible because I just do it for fun to encourage people. So, for Toa, we give the... Um, the hey, he's the, got yeah. six panels right there. I mean, hey, props for the effort. Okay, so Toa will get the six panel award. I, and he made a full-on comic, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to give you credit. No, I'm not, I'm not going to deny You're that. He made good, too, though, sir. Uh, and, and, and I appreciate that you put candles in a box to bury. The intended candles to bury later. It, it's my emergency. The thing, I'm sure they will grow. Like, yeah, the candles yeah, are buried. Yeah. Those candles are supposed to be buried. The whole point is if something is um, going to destroy my childhood, it will be buried with the candles to burn. Now, Circuit, I'm sure, I'm sure that one day they will grow into a See you later, Gamma Gamer. <laughs> I'm sure they will grow into a fine and delightful bamboo plant. That's the hope. I believe. Anything called love? Damn you, darkness! I believe in the power of love. And I believe I... I clicked on the wrong thing here. Sorry. I'm just trying to get the um, entries here into the show notes. But I'm an idiot. Okay. So, Toa wins the uh, six panel award. And uh, Deathlight Productions wins the... Um, it, he didn't make it, but it looks really pretty anyway award. It actually was a commission work. But he also wins the um, Improving All the Time Award. And we do, and uh, if we get any other entries before the show is over, we will um, talk, we will go over them real fast as well. Because it does kind of sound like people might have been doing stuff. I'm not sure. But in any case, uh, for the ch next week's challenge. For next week's challenge, I'm going to go with, uh, mm, too bored. Problem with um, being stuck at home all day for such a long period of time is some people are having a hard time coping because usually they go out and do stuff to uh, have activity instead of being able to sit down and read a book or play a video game for 40 hours on end or get lost in their Animal Crossing town where they bury everything except where the plants are supposed to be. 
I uh, envy all of you bored people so much. Uh, some, unfortunately, some people also still have to work. But for the people out there that are bored, we want ponies out there that are too bored. They have nothing to do because they have no imaginations. Or they've read it all. They played it all. Or maybe they ended up moving into a new town and all their stuff is still being shipped in. So they're literally in a room of nothing except maybe a deck of cards that they built into a castle five different times. The challenge, too bored. And we have the protest initiative challenge. Yes, we do. The protest initiative challenge this week is... Uh... You know what? I'm just going to go camping. Camping. I like camping. it. Yeah. In fairness, you can't be bored while camping. If you do make it bored while camping, then... You're in a highly regulated scout camp. <laughs> I mean, like, you can... And I can't stop I am you, good. but like at the same time, it's like, come on, you can roast marshmallows, you can just enjoy yourself, look at bugs, enjoy nature, panic because you don't like bugs like me, go just like look at a river or something. Go on a hike and get utterly lost for five hours. Oh man, yes, yes, it's all the fun we were doing with friends. <laughs> 